YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to the channel where we talk about topics to elevate your spiritual, intellectual and physical growth whilst spreading knowledge, love and positivity on the regular. Thank you for coming back to my video guys. We are going to talk about three uncomfortable habits that can elevate your growth and can elevate your mindset to become the best version of yourself. These are three habits that have worked for me, that have helped build my discipline, that have helped build my willpower and have ultimately made me a well, better and more well-rounded person. So without further ado, let's not waste any more time and get straight into it. The first one I'm going to mention is cold showers. Cold showers you've probably heard of before. Um, the reason why I think cold showers is a good one, and let me tell you something, before I go into this, I had hot showers two times, one time a day, two times a day, whatever it may be, only hot, hot, hot showers, okay? And the adjustment was not easy and it was very challenging but what it does do is it helps build your mindset and how it does that is through uncomfortability because you're so uncomfortable and your body is in a state of shock when you have cold showers that it is almost like a precursor to other things that could happen that are uncomfortable in your life it prepares you for more uncomfortable circumstances and it just builds your willpower because as long the longer that you're in that cold shower you know the more willpower that you have to have to just be able to push through not only that it gives you so much mental clarity as well it, it is a great way for you to be able to wake up in the morning because it's just a nice shock to the system and if you start your day with cold showers it's like everything after that almost seems easy you know it puts you because it's such a shock it puts you in such a peaceful state of mind that when other, other things happen in your day-to-day -day living that may be considered stressful to others, you're already prepared for it because your body is already used to that shock to the system. And let me tell you, if it's a winter's day and you wake up in the morning, there is nothing more shocking than a cold shower to be able to wake you up and get you moving. So, you know, as long as, as well as, not as long as, as well as the mental clarity, you know, the reduced anxiety, you know, the more clear-mindedness that you get through cold showers that I had personally, you know, you do build up that willpower and it is an uncomfortable habit which makes you more resilient in the future because your body has already had a shock that day through a cold shower so everything else seems easy. The next one is going to be exercise, new gym routines, gym, whatever it may be. This is a big one and it's a very common one too because with the gym, right, a lot of people do it for like one, two months and they get they get disheartened because they haven't had enough growth as they'd like. But in reality, you've got to give it time. You've got to build it up as a habit. You've got to start going. If I'm being honest with you, I was going initially at 1.3 times a week. What I've realized now is that I'm now going four to five. And if you really want to be able to stick to it, you have to go to four to five times a week. You have to go in that period because that sort of builds that level of discipline and that level of consistency. And when you start, it's very uncomfortable. You feel, sorry, there's some bird behind me just doing the madness. But what I was saying is that when you start, you're very uncomfortable. You, It's something new, especially if it's like a group class or you've just never been to a gym. You know, it can be a little bit intimidating with other people around you that are a little bit more uh, used to that environment. You know, you're like the new kid on the block and you it's like you've got something to prove and naturally, you know, you will compare yourself to other people. You'd be like, oh, I'm not as good as that person and it will breed that uncomfortability. But you have to look at it in a long-term gratification mindset. Look at it in a way that in 6 to 12 months, your body could be completely different and as long as you look at it long-term rather than short-term, you never will really get... Um, bored because you're going to be looking at it as a long-term project rather than a short-term gratification and that's something you know story for another video in terms of long-term gratification uh, but yeah your body will hurt mentally it's going to be a bit of a shift it will be something new to the routine uh, of turning up to a gym uh, one to two hours a day and your body will be sore because it's probably worked out muscle groups that you haven't really focused on too much and it's just a whole new environment but when you build your body and you're consistent with it every day, more or less, it builds up this level of self-respect because 
you're taking the time out of your day to make sure that your body is in check, to make sure you're looking good. And when you have that self-respect for yourself, it gives you that energy which attracts other people to you. And then they will reciprocate that energy and also give you the self-respect that you deserve because subconsciously they can see that you care about yourself and they're not going to pick up on this at the time, but that's how humans are hardwired. They see someone that looks after themselves, that is respectful of themselves and puts themselves first. And then ultimately people are going to start treating you, you know, like a, like a king because you will basically be that guy. You will be that guy that looks after themselves, that cares about their body and is just has the ultimate level of self-respect so it will give you that confidence as well you know it is very uncomfortable but over time when you see your body starting to change it will give you that confidence it will give you more confidence just in day-to-day -day life because you know subconsciously you've done a lot for your body today and you've done something to make yourself healthier and you've done something to make yourself uh, more of a peace of mind and you it does release endorphins so you do get that peace of mind through exercising and you always feel 100% better about yourself and that's something that's worked for me what I would recommend is do something gym wise that's four to five times a week because since I've started doing that my consistency levels have just leveled up my body has leveled up and I think when you go in that sort of time frame what it does for me is that it just becomes more and more of a habit so now I know it's rather than do I feel like going it's no I am going and when am I going and I have to go. Okay, keep that in mind guys. And the last one is semen retention. Very popular topic in the YouTube community, but, and I'll be doing separate videos on semen retention as well. Um, but what I would say about semen retention, retention is, your lust is one of the hardest things con to control, especially in this day and age where lust you know, it's such a lustful society. It's all about short-term gratification. It's all about, um, you know, it's a very sex-driven society these days, hookup culture and all that. So your sexual energy and your seed and not masturbating is like the hardest thing to be able to control. And let me tell you something. I've tested myself a lot over the last couple of years and I'm telling you the hardest thing for me personally is semen retention, okay? Because especially when in the past you've been very much into sex you've been very much into those websites on the internet all that kind of stuff it's going to be harder for you you know i'm not going to beat around the bush and say it's easy but at the same time if you can control your sexual energy and you can control your sexual desires you can basically control everything and this is why i left this last because if you're at that level where you have sexual urges whether to have sex with someone or to visit some naughty websites on the internet if you can control that and you can have that self-awareness to snap out of it and channel that energy into something else, really the sky is the limit for you because it's the hardest thing to control. And if you know you can control your sexual urges in a society that's so sex-driven, everything else like cold showers and gym will almost seem easy. It will almost seem easy for you, not to mention that semen retention will give you that energy to be able to transmute the sexual energy and you know how powerful sexual energy is it's like that urge that you get um, whether you're having sex or masturbating it's very very powerful so if you're able to keep that in it transmutes that to other areas of your life so things like gym or cold showers will seem easier because you are transmuting that very strong energy into other self-improvement areas in your life okay those are the three things let me summarize it for you very quickly Semen retention, most important one, if you can control your sexual urges, you can control pretty much anything in life. Very difficult, but stick to it because you get more energy and it gets easier and it will ultimately improve other areas of your life. Other areas such as gym. Gym is another one. It will be very uncomfortable at the beginning. You'll feel, um, your body will feel sore. Mentally, it will be something new, but you've got to keep pushing through and look at it as a long-term gratification mindset look at how your body will look in six to 12 months, not six weeks, okay? Number three, cold showers. If you start your day like that, everything else seems easy because it's such a shock to the system, gives you mental clarity, gives you peace of mind, reduces anxiety, gives cold showers a go as well, guys. That's the video for today. Thank you for listening to my video. Please subscribe if you're new. Please leave a comment with any feedback and any ideas for videos. And thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.